now it's time for Light My Ring. On Up For It Live. <laughs> Whoops, we've got a bit of Spice Girls spillage here. Oh, Our Spice sorry. Girls, we're, we're all in a bit of a panic. I was grabbing, I was, Jim was on the phone, I was trying to find the pins for uh, Light My Ring. And uh, we lost Scary Spice there for a second. She's, uh, she's looking all right though. Baby Spice is getting a little deflated. But then, I guess they probably all are at this stage. <laughs> all right, here we go. It's time for Light My Ring. I make my way round this room where we broadcast. It isn't really a studio. And uh, pull the old mic lead out and get in front of the Up For It super map. Um, of course, our aim on Light My Ring, which is kind of your request slot, you have to think of a video that really lights your ring, that pulls your trigger and butters your crumpets. And you put that down on a bit of paper or on an email, and you write in or you email in uh, to this address, which Curtis the camera is going to tighten up on right now. Up for it live, PO Box 1384, London NW1 8UH. Or you can send us um, an email, of course, up for it at mtvne.com. Cool. Now, you think of that video, and then what we do is we take... Thank you, Curtis. <laughs> <laughs> is do join us, you know. <laughs> we take a pin like this and we put it in the Up For It super map where you are from. Our aim, to cover the whole of the UK and Ireland who get this show live as it happens and good old New Zealand, um, South Island and North Ireland. Some up here. Oh yeah, we want yeah we want some from the, we want to light the Western Isles ring because we've got a few heaving gaps when we look at this. We've got no we've got none from the Orkneys, so it'd be cool to have one from the Orkneys. Especially if you live in a very funny place. And one great heaving gap is here, the northeast region, right here. But luckily, we have a request from Gateshead today, and it's a bit of a special one. We had an ace letter from one of your relatives, Joanne, uh, and happy birthday. It's Joanne from Gateshead's 18th birthday today. So happy birthday, nice one. Happy you have come a bit. There you go. Beautiful and tuneful <laughs> with me and Curtis. Um, now, it, uh, 18th birthday, as I say. Now, Joanne wants hairy walls, flying shoes, large reptiles, and a bloke called Keith. And you're going to get it because you want Breathe by the Prodigy, which is one of my favourite videos of all time. Uh, here we go. Follow the pin as it goes into the Up For It super map, plugging that great hole that is the northeast area, which we haven't really given due respect to on Light My Ring. So here we go. Gateshead, we're lighting your ring. We're lighting it with the Prodigy and Breathe for Joanne because it lights your ring. Happy birthday.
Il aime Murphy, la riche. Like, you know, when someone's pregnant and stuff and you want to really, really use it, they don't work, do they? I don't know. Well, your missus is pregnant and I bet you... Oh, no, you haven't had a baby yet. I bet you when you really... When something, an emergency happens, I bet you it doesn't work. OK, so what we've been doing is... I mean, what do they use these holsters for, right? They're for, well, they're for looking flashy, but, I mean, I reckon they just look... A, it just make you look like a piece if you wear one of these. So, we reckon it's for drawing. I mean, what is a holster for? It's for drawing. It's for drawing fast. So we've had a competition. We've set the scene, made it look like a spaghetti western. Jim sort of cracks his knuckles and goes all Lee Van Cleef on us. <laughs> goes all Clint Eastwood on us. We basically have a draw, and uh, what we do is we've got a phone in the studio... And uh, Elvis, um, our, um, our incredibly Elvis-like and quiff-tastic assistant here, uh, helps us by answering the phone. Uh, and what we do is me and Jim phone that number as quick as we can using one hand only, and whoever gets through first and talks to Elvis is the winner. The score, oh yes, Elvis, just set the scene. Tumbleweed. We have some tumbleweed. Well, we haven't got any tumbleweed, so we've got some carpet fluff. <laughs> Thanks for that huge chunk there. That's marvellous. There we go, tumbleweed. <laughs> Yeah, a little bit of, you know, a bit of atmospherics there. Cool. OK, set the scene. Imagine the poncho's gone thrown over the shoulder. The score is two to one so far. So if I get this, we're going to have to have another... We're going to have to re have a rematch. Thing is, I've got a memory of a goldfish, so I still have to write <laughs> this number on the back of my hand. <laughs> OK, here we go. Morning. Right, uh, OK. Gentlemen, in three, two, one, drop! Hey, cheese. <laughs> You cheated. You cheated. <laughs> Bill Quartley, come Hello. I think you're talking to me, Elvis. The winner is Edward. Yes, <laughs> yes, it's too old. Have we got time for another one? Quick one, a decider. Let me ask TX. Have we got time for another go? Just, it'll be 15 seconds. Yeah, they tell me Okay, brill. OK, let me just you cancel cheat. that. <laughs> you just let go. Just say ready and then go whenever you want. Go! Damn. <laughs> Hello. I believe the winner is <laughs> Tim. OK, so, OK, proof. Uh, there we are. Proof of two things, ladies and gentlemen. One, that this gadget is not crap because you can draw phones out of it very fast. And proof number two is that Jim is better at doing things with one hand than me. It's now time for There Is No God. You're not getting the rolling. Oh, we're not getting there. Oh, okay. Oh, well, imagine you just <laughs> imagine you just saw what uh, we in the biz call a rolling, which is uh, that uh, fantastic <laughs> jingle, where, yeah, where somebody holds up this card that says there is no. And now it's time for there is no God on Up for It Live. What we do is we crown every show uh, on Up for It Live with a record that we reckon should have got to number one or should have done a damn sight better than it actually did. Um, and there are, today's proof that there is no God is twofold. Firstly, there is no God because Sharon, who works on this show and who is totally a is leaving the show today. Ooh. So, uh, yeah, there is no God. Because Sharon, you rule. Sharon has got us, like, loads of great gadgets and loads of great... I just feel free to trip over my microphone while, <laughs> won't you? <laughs> well, um, yes, your heartfelt uh, sentiments are appreciated. Sharon, bye-bye. We love you. We think you're great. You've got us gadgets, you've got us prizes, and you totally rule, and we don't know what on earth we're going to do without you. Um, yeah. And also proof that there is no God comes from Desri, um, uh, with the totally right. charming Desre. Des Re, Des Ray, what's a couple of, what's a couple of syllables between friends? Um, it's you gotta be, the utterly, no, I'll, I'm sorry, I'm talking absolute bollards, aren't I? <laughs> Des Ray, Des Ray, Ray, Ray. Okay, this is you gotta be, which reached number 14 in March 1995, um, at, at the second or third attempt. It's a total mystery why it didn't do any better. There is no God. This is a beautiful song. She's a beautiful girl, and so is Sharon. And uh, so until, to, uh, no, not tomorrow, till Monday, when the Up For It Live are back at three, live across the UK and Ireland, across New Zealand, 12 hours later, whatever you do till then, do it damn hard. You need a weekend, mate.